We got a really cool project today. Uh, it's a deep paving project where there's an empty lot. It's been empty for some time. They're taking up all the cement and putting a food forest in place. So we're going to be working with Mosaic Community Gardens and Tom McGlynn from Feed the Burbs. He's a permaculturist. We're going to be mixing together biochar with compost to help with the decades of compaction from underneath the cement to put some life into this soil. Let's check it out. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Good to see you. you All right, this Thanks is sweet. Out. My name is Tom McGlynn. I'm from Feed the Burbs, and we're a permaculture design firm. We basically try to grow food everywhere. Instead of us doing all the work ourselves, we just feed the soil and the soil does the work for us with Mother Nature. So if we want to water less, if we want to fertilize, not at all, uh, we put biochar down to hold some water and to feed our plants basically and to help with the compaction, uh, give us more growing space for the roots. We're in Pottstown now and uh, we're working for a community development corporation called Genesis Housing. They had this vacant lot that they initially were planning on building houses but they were thinking probably not going to build for about eight years or so. So why let it just sit vacant when you can have an edible landscape? Why is something like this important to be done? Well, this space is a, it's a high traffic area, as you can see. It's visible. And we want to make sure that people have access to not only food, fresh food and high quality food, but we want to make sure that they understand that this is what it looks like. We're putting in about 150 perennial uh, food bearing plants. Companion planting, guild planting, designing with ecological principles in mind. My name is Melissa Miles. I'm an environmental biologist and a permaculture designer and teacher. What's going on underneath our feet right now? So this had been macadam. The lot here was someone's house that burned to the ground uh, probably 10 years ago. So under here, um, you can see the compaction. The soil has, the soil that is under here, hasn't been exposed to oxygen, gotten any moisture in it. There's probably very little microbial life going on in here. Because this has been compacted for such a long time, biochar is going to be very important for helping to decompact the soil yes. and like you said, uh, reinvigorate that microbial community that really gets the biology kickstarted in the soil that will help things grow here. I'm the garden manager for the Mosaic Community Land Trust Community Gardens located in downtown Potsdam. This will be the first one that um, is not fenced in. So it'll give neighbors an opportunity to visit this location who maybe aren't members but yet just want to come here and uh, kind of spend some time with their family. There's going to be a lot of edibles here so people will be able to just walk up and try things and taste things and talk about it and also um, native plants that will be here. So I'm excited that it's going to be an open garden space for everyone's enjoyment. We got a bunch of biochar delivered. So what we're doing is we're mixing it with the compost. We're doing it at about a 10% by volume ratio. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna spread it on the most compacted soils uh, where biochar is gonna really help the plants get established, uh, decompact the clays, and stimulate root growth into the soil that they'll then increase the decompaction even more. What's really unique about this project specifically is that it's on a main stretch of, of this urban space. So people are gonna be able to be uh, experiencing the benefits of biochar firsthand. They're gonna come in, they're gonna sit down, there's gonna be a public space. They're gonna be able to enjoy all the nature and, sit, and then have a sign that says, by the way, biochar helped make this possible. And it's gonna be a great way to increase education and really give back to the community too. I mean, it was awesome. We had like 20 volunteers here today from the community helping to install this project. So I'm really excited about what's going on here.